and it's over. So yesterday was Indigenous Peoples Day. Uh, according to Joe Biden, uh, at least he said that it's Indigenous, Indigenous Peoples Day. Well, let's see how Joe Biden and Washington, D.C. police and the Secret Service handled Indigenous Peoples Day, shall we? There were protest demonstrations outside of the White House. Large crowds of people collected and gathered to uh, basically demand that indigenous people are respected in this society that we live in, uh, demand an end to oil pipelines that are destroying and desecrating sacred land, and just all in all spreading awareness about indigenous people's struggles. Great stuff, right? Except actually, no, because they got brutalized and very violently arrested during this demonstration. It's not like, I don't know, maybe they were storming the White House. No, not at all. They were just saying indigenous lives matter. And this is how the United States Secret Service treats them. Can you believe this shit? This is the world that we fucking live in, where you can't even say, hey, my life actually matters, and it's kind of fucked up that you don't think it does. You can't say that without getting fucking brutally harassed and attacked. Anyway, I want to listen to the audio here. Like again, what do you think? Th oh wow, violent thug, violent fucking thug, elderly woman who's like frail, what a violent fucking thug. Let's manhandle, let's break her fucking shoulders. Yeah, that's right, violent thug. Meanwhile, on January 6th, what the fuck, man? Seriously, all my homies hate Joe Biden. He's garbage, he's a disaster. His presidency is a disaster, right? If he's lucky, he will be the last president in United States history. But I don't think we're all going to get that lucky. I think we're going to have the bad ending here. I think Trump's going to win in 2024, and then we're all fucked. That's what I think. But look at how they treat her. All right, you want to escort her off the prime? Okay, whatever. That's not how you do that. Right, you don't swarm her with a bunch of maskless goons and criminal fucking thugs like fucking dislocating your shoulders. This is not how you fucking handle this shit on Indigenous Peoples Day, mind you. Like any other day, you can't do this tomorrow. You can't do this last week. You have to do this on Indigenous Peoples Day. Joe Biden. Oh, yes, we've given them a raw deal. Yeah. Emphasis on we, motherfucker. This shit is ridiculous, man. It's all fucking falling apart, folks. This country is over. It's done. It's gone. There is no United States of America. There never has been. It's just a bunch of genocidal, imperialist fucking morons that just want an excuse to kill other- Oh, it's the law. It's the law. The law said I'm allowed to kill people. It's one random general that said I'm allowed to kill people. Fuck you. Fuck your generals. Fuck your laws. Fuck Columbus. Fuck all that stupid ass bullshit. Like, the fact that the United States government is still, in the year 2021, unable to even acknowledge the fact that they are brutalizing and destroying the lives of indigenous people to this very day, as of fucking yesterday, as of today, with these oil fucking pipelines. The fucking sheer fact and audacity that Joe Biden has to go, oh, it's indigenous people's day. Oh, look, look, look. It's a oh, Columbus was a bad guy. Wow, that's the best you got? That's the best you fucking got? Go fuck yourself, old man. Jesus Christ.